If you're sick and tired of hearing about the orange people, spare a thought for the Hare Krishnas. The Hare Krishnas have been in Australia for more than ten years now. Seems a lot longer. The orange people, or Rajneeshis, as they're also called, are a more recent arrival. But people are now confusing the Hare Krishnas with the orange people and even abusing Krishnas on the street. And the Krishnas don't like being mixed up with what they regard as a bunch of non-religious upstarts. Murray Moore reports. Well, mainly it just centres around, you know, drugs, sex and rock and roll. People think that we're into those things, which of course the Rajneesh are, but uh, we're not. Things like, well, you all indulge in group sex, uh, or, you know, one of the other ones is, oh, you, you're the people where your, your master has uh, 96 Rolls Royces. It's cheapening the whole spiritual process, and I really object to that. The plight of Hare Krishnas in 1985, being accused of indulging in free sex, drinking, and following a guru with a stable of Rolls Royces, all because of the colour of their robes. Our celibate monks, they wear these saffron-coloured robes and have always. Chittahari, regional director of the Krishnas. It means celibacy. That's exactly what it means. So when we're, our orange men are mistaken for Rajneesh, I mean, it's a great offence because they're celibate and the Rajneesh are blatantly, um, you know, like... Promiscuous. Promiscuous, that's it. It's easy to see why they're being confused. Take away the chants and bells and there's little difference. But it wasn't a major problem until this woman arrived. You know, you're a worthless man. Sheila, the orange people's idea of public relations. You must know pimps because you must be going to prostitute yourself. She's actually a very obnoxious lady. Do you think she's a, a good right-hand person for a <sighs> spiritual leader? Well, if a spiritual leader's got a right-hand person like that, it doesn't say a lot from mm. his teachings. <laughs> what religion they belong to? Orange people? I think it would be orange. Orange people. Orange. I think so. Hare Krishna? Yeah. What do you think? Orange person? An orange person. Yeah. Why do you think an orange person? So wearing orange robes. Orange people, that's all that we call them. It's like a big insult actually for a Hare Krishna. It's the worst. If you want to insult a Hare Krishna, call him a Rajneesh. <laughs> It's ironic, of all religions, it's the Hare Krishnas who are condemning the orange people. It was only a few years ago street possessions like this were banned in Melbourne streets and certainly not encouraged in other capital cities. But now the Krishnas say that they are as respectable as the Catholic or Protestant churches. We're even more. We are seen as more religious. They all know that and we're a lot of fun. The Hare Krishnas are so outraged, they want the government to stop the Rajneeshis claiming to be a religion. They're not a religion. Uh, they may be a, a business organization or something like that, but they are not a religion. Why aren't they? Because they don't follow the moral principles of purity. The Orange people first agreed to answer the criticisms, but then had a change of heart. Because they don't recognize the Krishna religion, as it has, quote, too many rules, beliefs, and disciplines. Don't you think it's ironic that it's the Hare Krishnas who are complaining about this way out fringe religion? Look, Marie, the Hare Krishnas have never, ever been in question as to their religious principles. We may have had some criticism over our strange looks, which is not strange in the 1980s anyway. In fact, we're very in, shaved heads are very in, you know. But, um, but it was only a few years ago people were criticizing you. I'm very proud to walk down the street with a shaved head and robes on. People all give you respect. Businessmen, everybody. It's the orange robes which seems to cause the confusion. Would you consider discarding them? We're not going to change. It's, our, it's always been our custom and always, always will be. Would you like them to change colours then? Um, yeah, we sure wouldn't mind it. Why don't they become the brown people or something? <laughs> Murray Moore had an unusual problem of identity. More in a moment.